Good night. No. You're supposed to say good morning. Good night. So tell them what happened with the Humane Society, with animal control. Because you were the one who talked to them. I, w I didn't get, I wasn't up yet. What am I supposed to tell them? Tell them the same thing you told me. That they said to make sure the dog got his shots and fucking left? There was more to it than that. Well, that basically sums it up. Uh, this isn't about, <laughs> vlogging is not, isn't about summing everything up. They want to know. They want to know about what? The details. The details? Oh, the next door neighbor has a black and white dog too? Yeah, and the cop went there first. So it probably wasn't even tugged to begin with. Yeah, and yeah, more yeah. was said. Like what? <laughs> Just said that supposedly we're something about a dog bite. That's what they said. I said well, apparently, I said that's my understanding too. Well, he ruined this for me, so I guess I have to tell you guys. I wanted him to tell you, but he had to ruin it because he can't take anything seriously. They showed up at 10.10 10 in the morning, and apparently Don knows the guy, so that helped. And he said that he asked what kind of dog tug was, and Don said border collie, and he said border collies don't usually bite. He didn't even ask to look at Tug. Tug was in the bedroom with me. Nobody got in trouble. They don't even think it was Tug. They think it was a, a black and white dog a couple houses down, especially since uh, things match up with that because Tug was on the porch when this supposedly happened, and he didn't bark. It, you know, and when he, he likes to try to herd people on bikes. He's a border collie. He doesn't bite them. He tries to herd them. And he takes off barking. Well, he didn't bark. He was laying on the porch sleeping the whole time. So apparently, that it was the other black and white, white dog with long hair a couple of houses down. And the guy just automatically assumed, oh, it must be theirs. And I think what happened is the cop went to that house first. And they weren't home or something, and she came driving by past here and just happened to see Tug outside, and she's like, oh, that's a black and white dog. Must have been him. No, it wasn't. But anyway, it's done. It's over with now. We didn't get any fines. We're not going to get sued. Nobody's in trouble. Tug's not going to get put to sleep. So he'll stay tied up from now on, and that way, if this guy tries to pull that shit again, we can just say he was tied up and... If this keeps going on, and we have to, I'll buy him a muzzle, and he'll wear the muzzle all the time when he's outside. And the cops will show up and see that he has a muzzle on, and then they'll be like, oh, well, he couldn't have bit anybody, he has a muzzle on. So, I don't know who this guy is, or, or why he's trying to cause so much trouble, but we'll put a stop to it. Yeah, the only thing that people from the main side said was just get, get his shots done, so that way you don't have to, uh, no, that way for your guys' ass. Well, yeah, but they didn't give us, like, a fine for not having shots. No. And they didn't give us a deadline for the shots, so no. we'll do it when we can afford to, and we'll get him his license, too. Yeah, and I told him that we had $82 to put away, and he said that's probably pretty close about what the shot itself cost. But there's going to be, you know, office visits and stuff like that tacked on. But. Yeah. But also, uh, he said for, as for vultures for helping to get animals fixed, he said that their office don't have any right now, but the one in Top and the B for, you know, uh, has vultures to help for fixing animals. Yeah, because uh, Tug should be fixed too, because maybe that would make it so that when we take him to visit people, like Travis or Ma and Dad, he doesn't try to mark his territory inside their houses. No, I don't know if that'll change that part, but uh, the dogs are territorial animals. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that'll change that part or not, but probably wouldn't hurt to get them fixed, just to have them fixed. Yeah. Just so that way, you know, can't go and fuck on anything. Which, he hasn't done that. He shows no interest in that, but you never know. Well, he hasn't been around any female dogs around here either, so... Yeah, but when he runs off, he doesn't, you know... Well, well He, he hasn't run off in a long time, but the only place this past summer, when he did run away, he went and jumped in the in the swamp. 
Well, he didn't go out and way. find a girlfriend. He went out and jumped in the swamp and swam around. Well, just think of it this way. At least he can't come back with it, uh, fucking knocked up. Yeah. And if he can come back knocked up, then I'm one rich motherfucker because you ain't keeping your dog very long because I'll be selling that bitch. Yeah. A fucking male dog that can give birth. Fucking right. Nah. I'm going to fucking strike a gold mine. Nah. Sell him for $10 million. <laughs> sell him to a scientist. That's mean, and then they'd cut him up and dissect him. I'll, I'll sell him to NASA or something. Oh. They can dissect him and fucking study him. And... No, you you wouldn't do that. Yeah, you, I would. You love your dog too much. If somebody would off with me $10 million, I'd, trust me, I'd sell anything. No, you wouldn't. I would even fucking go and fucking sell somebody else for $10 million. You would not. <laughs> I would even sell you off for $10 million. I knew you were going to say that. No, you wouldn't. Hell, I would even cut, cut, cut a hand off for $10 million. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, give me a meat cleaver. Ten million dollars is no fun if you only have one hand to use it with. Oh, well, I'm not cutting off my jerking off hand, and I'm doing good. What makes you think you need that? You never know. <laughs> You're really weird. No, I'm just really fucked in the head. Yeah, that too. I don't know. I ain't ashamed to admit it. I got crazy people that talk to me every now and then. Oh crazy, yeah. Crazy people right up here in my head. For real? Yeah. I tried going to the fucking nut hub, but they told me there was no help for me and they kicked me out. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, I have mm -hmm. I have like four days off until the tenth. We'll find things to do like more geocaching, stuff like that. Upstairs now. The Dursley's house had four bedrooms. One for Uncle Vernon and Aunt Petunia, one for visitors, usually Uncle Vernon's. So obviously we're listening to Harry Potter on audiobook, on iTunes, because Don wanted to, well, I want Don to know what really happened in the Harry Potter stories, but he's not into reading all those books I've got out in the shed. So we got all the audiobooks, and we've been listening to that. We're having Hamburger Helper with turkey burger in it and I have bread with spray butter and it's it's macaroni cheesy macaroni hamburger helper whatever and there he is over there and where's Tug still sitting outside well pile of kitties there you are. Are you happy to not be in trouble? We know you didn't do it. We know they made that that guy made that crap up. So, you you should be happy. Right? Not much is going on. We're just going to have dinner and listen to more Harry Potter. So, We'll say good night, and we hope that you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Good morning. Oh yeah, Tiger. We didn't ask for your two cents. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, time to eat and relax. <laughs> All right. Bye. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>